This poem is called The Last Freedom Fighter and I'm especially glad to be able to share it with you because it might never have made it into the world. I actually could feel so much power from it that I avoided writing it for something like five months, which is uh, quite an epic effort for a poet to run away from a poem for that long. But um, luckily I didn't keep running forever and so I'm able to share it with you now. The Last Freedom Fighter Gather close and listen close as I tell you that this poet will no longer fight in the wars of this world. Watch as I lay down my armour, my sword, my shield, my pen, my voice and my coins and reflect in the currents of a hundred years past. This poet will not occupy the sidelines, will not be entrenched and will not be the muffled sound of endless winters descending upon endless souls. Keep dropping the bombs, the buildings and the bodies. I will not shift, nor savour, nor will I fall silent under the crushing control of the legions set loose upon my liberties. Let everything fly. I will take to the skies also, to be amongst the wisps, the whimsies and the stars. Let us sit for a millennia and see which power shines most brightly. My half-life is as yet undetermined, my determination untested and undefined. This poet comes with neither manual, nor manifesto, nor policy document to betray the true intent of the words whispered into the wind beneath towering trees. Words carried out on the never-ending breeze, free as the day they were born. This poet will be the last freedom fighter, always resisting the onslaught, always bearing the calls to the call to arms. The ones who came before, and the ones who think to follow the ghosts to their graves, are lies, buried where we fall. This poem is called The Truth, and um, it's an unusual one for me because it's a rhyming poem, and I very rarely write write poems like that and um, it arrived um, quite unbidden but definitely in response to reading poetry for International Women's Day so uh, written especially for this event. The truth. In millennia past the truth it was spoken. They told us to bow down lest our spirit be broken but I choose to believe in my power not my nation so I stole us away neath the winds of creation. They searched for us and hunted us and lied to our children. So we gifted our words and our songs they'd forsaken. In millennia past, the women were worshipped by the men as their equals. In this, they were purposed. The women, they preached to no one but the glory of nature. The men, they stood strong beside them, both magnificent in stature. In millennia past, the truth, it was mistaken by the fears of the lost ones whose memory was taken. But I chose to believe in their power, not their nation. So I stole them away neath the winds of creation. Now they search for us and pray to us through the dark nights they're calling speaking words, singing songs they don't know they've forsaken. In millennia past, when the songs were remembered, the men and the women awoke where they slumbered, and they preached to no one but their own inner power, and they saw their reflected humanity's finest hour. <laughs>